Hey everyone, this is Kim Collingsworth of the Collingsworth family and I made it off the bus this morning and I'm home in my kitchen because this week it's Thanksgiving and I spend a whole lot of time in my kitchen during the week of Thanksgiving because I have a lot of people coming to my house. Uh, Thursday I'm having about 53 people for dinner and uh, we're gonna make the turkey and the ham and all the fixings just like a traditional Thanksgiving dinner but when you got that many people in your home, you know, I like to have snacks and I slice a lot of fresh cheese and fresh fruits I have here and all that. And I like to just, you know, make it homey and lots of good food to eat. And so one of the things that my team and my family loves is popcorn, but it's not a traditional popcorn. It's a caramel corn. It's called caramel puffed corn that I uh, got from a lady off the road years ago she brought it to me at the product table and said, you've got to taste this. And the moment I tasted it, I wanted the recipe. It's a lady named Doris from North Carolina that gave me this recipe. And so it has become a family favorite and I make lots of it. It's called, as I said, caramel puffed corn. And um, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's very, very simple, but I promise you, if you make this this week, one, it will be gone very quickly. And two, everybody will be asking for seconds. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this caramel corn is very simple, the six ingredients total. All right, this is the big deal right here. You see this? It's called Mike Sales Original Oven Baked Puff Corn. Okay, the reason this is so awesome is there's no hulls and there's no kernels. So your kids are safe to eat it and uh, it doesn't hurt your teeth. Uh, so this is awesome. And this is the five, uh, the five and a half ounce bag. It's, it will be one serving. So. Um, here you go, you got this, and then what you're gonna need is two sticks of butter. We're gonna start with two sticks of butter, which I've already put in here. One cup of brown sugar, a half a cup of light corn syrup, syrup, my kids say, one teaspoon of just regular good old vanilla, and one teaspoon of baking soda, okay? So here's how it goes, it's real simple. You're gonna take the two sticks of butter, they're already in here, you're gonna dump this in with it, you're gonna dump a half a cup of this light corn syrup in. You're gonna turn it on medium heat and you're gonna stir and stir until it boils. Once it starts boiling, you're gonna boil it for two minutes. You don't have to do the soft ball stage and that kind of stuff. Just boil it for two minutes and then turn it off. And then um, once this is done, I will show you what you're gonna do with the vanilla and the baking soda, all right? But one little important thing that I really didn't tell you at the beginning is you really should prep your pan first. It's a 13 by nine. I've got it right here. Spray it, whatever you do, because this caramel will stick to the bottom. So spray this and then I just take this whole bag right here and I just dump it in this pan and spread it out until it's even like that and I get it ready because once this is done cooking, you're gonna to wanna to move really, really fast um, and get it on. And by the way, the other prep thing is 250 degrees is where you want your oven. So I've already got mine heated over there. So again, prep your pan, turn your oven on, put two sticks of butter, one cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of light corn syrup in, as I've got right here in this pan, and I'm gonna stir it pretty much consistently. Um, until it starts boiling. Once it starts boiling, two minutes, let it go. And then once that uh, two minutes is done, you're gonna take this little measuring spoon and you need one teaspoon of, of vanilla and one teaspoon of baking soda. And you're gonna take that and drop it into this mix really, really fast. And I will show you once this is done, what's coming up next. Okay, so we have about 30 seconds left. This has come to a really, really nice boil. And uh, what I'm gonna do as soon as this timer goes off is I'm gonna take one teaspoon of this vanilla, dump it in quickly, and a teaspoon of this baking soda, dump it in and stir, stir, stir. And it will kind of foam up like a, I don't know, just kind of like a root beer float look. Just foam it up. And um, here we go, we've got about seven seconds. And I'll move pretty quickly because uh, this, you don't want this to stick to the bottom of the pan. So, all right, here we go, and there's the timer off. And so I'm gonna take it off the burner. That's the big deal, take it off. And I just put that in, now watch this. I'm gonna do this very quickly. It's just a very level, like this. Okay, and here we go. So we're gonna stir, 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 and move this out of the way so you can see. See, it kind of turns like a, 
kind of thick, foamy look. Oh, it's so good. This is just such great caramel corn. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. I've never, ever given this to anybody that didn't love it, literally love it, and say, what is this? So, I th okay, so you see how thick that is? All right, so here we go. Watch this. So it's very simple. I'm just going to go like this, like this, evenly, 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 like this. Yeah, the more, the merrier. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to get the rest of it out of the pan. Okay, and I'm not even going to stir this first batch because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it in the oven. Let me put this in the sink real fast because I don't want that caramel sticking to the pan and then I really, an hour from now I can't get it off. So here, here it's, here's what's happening. Make sure this burner's off. Okay, so I'm going to take this right here and it's going to go in this oven right here at 250 degrees. Sorry, I have not cleaned my oven yet, but... Uh, it's going to need more cleaning after this week, and we'll get to it. So here's what happens. This is going to go for a total of one hour, but here's the deal. Every 15 minutes, hold on, shut the water off. Every 15 minutes, you need to take your spatulas, and you need to turn and, you know, just turn, just stir the caramel corn. So every 15 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll set my first 15 minute timer. It's 826, so I basically know that this is going to be done by 926. First 15 minute timer has been set, set, and I will literally wait for that to go off. I'll pull that open, I'll stir it real good, put it in for another 15. I'll do that four different times. The last one, I will pull it out, and in the meantime, I will get some wax paper and line my counter, because when that comes out of the oven, I'll show you exactly what to do uh, and where to place it on that wax paper and how to do it. So. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes, and I'm gonna just pull this out like this. What do you think of my gloves? My friend Renee bought these for me, and they're the coolest things. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is just give it a flip, all of it. Just flip it, just, it's kind of, you know, a little bit tedious here. I'm gonna get it all, though. A little tricky sometimes. close getting very close there we go. all right I'm gonna set my timer and I will do that again a second time and a third time and on the fourth time I'll stir it and pull it out so okay y'all we're good to go look at this oh my goodness look at that caramel that is amazing what I'm gonna do is run it over very very quickly and dump it out on this wax paper you don't want to leave it in this pan it will Start setting up immediately. So you don't, don't leave it in this pan at all. Just scoop some of that caramel out. Oh, it gets, this caramel gets really, really chewy. But I'll just take these gloves and I'll spread it out like this and let it air dry for just a little bit until it's cooled off. And it will be crunchy and it will be good. And then there's caramel pieces like that right there that are chewy. It'll make you wanna smack yourself. No, don't do that. But anyway, this is great, you guys. I promise, this is addictive. It's so good. I don't hardly make it uh, during the year because it's so tempting you can hardly not pass it up. So anyway, there it is, y'all. This is the caramel puffed corn that I make every single year. Let me tell you one other thing. When this is cooled, you can put it in a plastic container and it will stay good for several days. So I make this stuff ahead of time and put it in those containers and when my company comes they are good to go so i hope y'all enjoyed this little recipe time and i uh, let me know let me know if you make this recipe and how it turns out for you happy thanksgiving to all of you and i hope to see you out there on the road really soon mm. tell me what it is caramel corn mm -hmm. You love it? Mm-hmm. You like it? Mm-hmm. I came over, came over here and I saw this right here. Y'all, it's caramel. Should I eat it? I think I will. Bye-bye. <laughs>